What's up guys and welcome to the Handy Hunter. I am standing in my comparison plot of buck forage oats versus tractor supply oats. This is a comparison that I've always wanted to do. I actually had a couple of subscribers not long ago ask me if I've ever done this comparison and I had to say no because I hadn't done it. But this season I took this small tenth of an acre plot right here and uh, split it right down the middle. You can see I've got my high def browning trail camera right there and then I've got a stick out in the middle as well that separates this plot in half and basically what I did in mid-September when I planted all my other food plots I planted this side in buck forage oats and I planted this side in tractor supply oats now I planted half a bag um, of buck forage on this side a 50 pound bag and I planted half of a 50 pound bag on this side of tractor supply I also put a 50 pound bag of fertilizer on each side as well. So just to give you an idea of my planting, my seeding rate and then my fertilizer rate as well. My first take on this whole comparison is that deer love oats. They just bottom line, they absolutely love young and tender oats. And that's why I always plant a lot of oats for my food plots for the rut uh, that comes, you know, mid-November. The claim of buck forage is that you know later in the maturity of the plant life that it's more palatable to deer and deer like it later in the season so i've really i've planted both in the past but i i haven't really paid attention to whether deer prefer buck forage later in the season uh, versus tractor supply so the first part of this video and this analysis is to first look at whether deer has have a preference in the early phases of growth of these two different oats the next update to this maybe we'll be around christmas time and we'll try to take a look at whether or not deer prefer the buck forward side um, due to the palatability uh, and the better tasting plant later in the season versus tractor supply we'll see now this plot is getting so much pressure that the oats may not make it to maturity so if they don't make it to maturity uh, and they just they eat them eat them down i may have to move this experiment to the next season and do it in a much larger food plot where we can get these grow these oats off the runway and get them up um, into into later into the season. The hogs have totally mowed this down as well. Um, the hogs have not dug holes out here yet, but they will later in the season. But right now they are eating the oats as well. We just had a big sounder of hogs move in, mature hogs, about 15 of them, and you'll see in the video these hogs are going through this food plot and just absolutely mowing it down. I don't see a preference on either side that the deer are going to one side versus the other. I just see them dropping their heads and eating a whole bunch of oats. I do see some deer walking across tractor supply and going to the buck forage, putting their head down to eat. I've also seen deer walk right across buck forage and go to tractor supply, put their head down and start eating. I've seen behaviors on both sides that doesn't lead to conclude that they're preferring one over the other. I just think they love they love young tender oats and that's the behavior that we're seeing so far. So stay tuned guys in the next update coming in December uh, probably around Christmas time we'll take a look at whether or not deer prefer the buck forage later in the season over the tractor supply so stay tuned for that update. Uh, later in season, but enjoy some video. I'll put a bunch of video at the end of this and you can watch for as long as you want to see how the deer behave out here and see if you can make your own conclusions. So anyway, guys, appreciate you. Love you. Um, God bless you. I hope you're having an awesome hunting season. Stay tuned. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about this experiment and uh, we'll be in touch. More coming.